Hello friends, today I will demonstrate how to go for a Z test using MS Excel. So let us discuss the case over here. An executive of all time for UPS has claimed that average backup of its UPS is manufactured by its company is 20 minutes. So as a smart customer, what will you do? Will you purchase or will you go uh, for the next UPS? So, Try to collect data for backup as much as possible. So let's go do uh, and uh, do an exercise with 40 data available in MS Excel. So here is the data of 40 UPS installed at somewhere places or you can say by any means. And this is the total efficiency of the UPS. So to perform a Z test, you need the following statistics. I have divided these statistics into two different parts: the statistics of the sample and the statistics of the population. So to compute the statistics of sample, we need the sample size. So to compute this sample size, what you can do is simply you can use a formula that is C U N T count you can see value 1, value 2, value 3 is shown here as a reference of this formula. So for this cursor from the first data press control shift and down arrow key and you can get automatically on the last so here you can get the range automatically close the bracket and here is your sample size you can see count c2 to c41 in our case and the total sample size is 40 now let us compute the mean the mean actually is the average of the collected data so how to go about this the formula is average bracket open again the average of the range of the numbers that is this again shift control and down arrow key c2 to c41 and close the bracket here is the mean of the sample data what we have collected I want to compute the standard deviation. To compute the standard deviation, you can use this formula equal to STDEV bracket open. Again, the same numbers. What you require is control shift down arrow key and then close the bracket. So, here is the standard deviation of your sample. Now the statistics of the population. The mean is the claim what the executive has made of the UPS company. So what he said that the average backup of every UPS manufactured in this company is 20 minutes. So here you will see the mean of the population is 20. The standard deviation as the population is very large so it is not known. So standard error. So we have to compute the standard error of the sample. So, to compute a standard error, the formula is equal to standard deviation divided by square root of size. So, how to compute the square root? You can simply use the function SQRT, bracket open, and the number of which you want the square root of, and this is what the desired value of 40 so you can simply click on the cell and you can get h3 over here close the bracket and this is the standard error of the sample now on which significance level you want to check or you want to test the hypothesis and say for example we need on the 10 percent so now let us perform the z test to perform the z test you need this kind of statistics say the sample mean 
minus population mean divided by standard error of the mean. So let's go through. Say for example here you want to count equal to sample mean. Sample mean here is the sample mean minus population mean. What is this? The claim. This is the general error. So, what we can have while putting up a formula. So, what you can do, you can initially open these two brackets and inside it, you can have a formula of say mean of the sample minus mean of this. So, you cannot get such kind of error messages ever. divided by standard error of the mean. Standard error of the mean we have computed over here that is M3 column and this M3 only you have to click here and you can just found that. This is your Z test value. Now let us check whether our computed value of Z test falls in the acceptance region of a normal distribution or not. So to compute the intervals what we can do is to find the values of the interval on 10% significance level. So here what you can do is you can use a formula equal to confidence. Now you can see the help of this formula that is confidence you get alpha. Alpha is a significance level. So if you can check over here you can get the value from N3 we are taking this into this formula standard deviation, standard deviation of sample that is 10.06 we are taking this from here and the size of the sample this is not for the two tailed test as what we are performing over here the significance level has to be divided into two parts the left one and the right one so here what we will do is N3 divided by 2 now close the bracket and here comes your significance level for the positive on the positive x-axis. Now, for the negative value, you simply click negative, and this value you get minus 2.356. Here, so simply you can even also put this value up to two letters, or you can say number, or you can increase the decimal places. Say five or say four. Okay. Plus two point three five six seven to minus two point three five six seven. This is a significant range. So let us check whether our z test value falls between the range of these two values. So what we can see over here is minus four is out of this particular range. So let us check with the help of putting the if formula let's put this if the bracket open and we will perform the logical test the logical test is the value of this so for example is greater than say this value then we will reject now let me explain once again if this value, if it is greater than this value, then we can say our data falls in uh, far from that particular acceptance region. Now, if this condition is false, we will again have the negative statement over here, as you can say it's a nested if else statement. Again, let us perform this. It's if this value is less than, say, this value. Again, it is out of our acceptance region. Again, we will reject. Okay. Now, if both the values are not projected, so it may fall between these two values, then we will say the accept the hypothesis. So here is. So here we will check because here this value will fall 
out of this particular range. So this means the claim what the kitty has made here that uh, the average duke is back up at 20 minutes is false. So simply will not purchase the UPS. So this is how to perform a two-tailed test. Thanks a lot for today. We'll meet next time.